Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another extremely impressive mod, which is called Tank Tracks Over Vanilla Wheels, which is quite a mouthful, but it is one of the most impressive mods I've ever seen in Space Engineers. So much so that I'm just going to grab hold my character and show you it right off the bat, instead of me waffling on for a little bit. So anyway, once you've added this in through the mod menu, you'll get a new option in the G menu, which we'll go through properly in just a moment, but we'll then get access to our Tank Track Builder, where once you aim at the vehicle, you're going to get this green box all the way around it, then get an option of pressing F, which will then select all of your wheels and highlight them in blue. Then you just aim your reticle at one of your wheels, then get a green box around that, then you can left mouse button to select the wheels, then highlight in green, where you can then click again to deselect it, or click again to reselect it. But once you're happy with the wheels you selected, you press F once again, and then voila! You then got tank tracks all the way around this, but wait, it gets even better. We can now get rid of that, hop into the cockpit, because they are fully animated. So moving forwards, they'll move forwards. Moving backwards, if I actually undo the parking brake, there we go. They'll move backwards. We turn this thing around, and all functions as you'd expect from an actual tank vehicle. There we go. But what if you don't want to have tank tracks on certain wheels? Yes, you can recustomize this once they're on there. There's no need to say deconstruct it and rebuild it, you simply hop out of this, grab hold of the tool once again, aim at the vehicle, you then press R to remove it, now you can just select them, press F once again, and away you go. It's just an exceptionally simple yet impressive tool, so easy to use, and you can get a lot of use out of this, compared to the old tank track mods, where you had to fit in basically a certain size, or you had to use a modular system, this is simply a point and click, and away you go. But yes, that's what the mod does, now I'm going to go into the usual level, of what I usually do in these videos, and we'll just take it a bit more slow with a few examples. So yes, as I said, once you've had this in through the mod menu, you get a new option in the G menu, so coming up to all blocks, typing into here tank tracks, or just tank in general, you then see this option right here, the tank track builder, where as you can see it will cost us one interior plate to actually build these things, and it can be used on a large and small block grid. So we simply drag this all the way down to our hotbar, and then hold it in our hand like a regular little block, or even just a tool, and like I said, we get a green box around stuff that we aim at. It has a fairly decent range, but as you can see there, I can't target that vehicle in the distance, but I can target the smaller vehicle right in front of it. Okay, so we simply come up to, say, this vehicle over here, in fact, this one right behind here. Then we press F, all the wheels highlight, and now we're ready to go. So I can just select these ones at the front. There we go, I'm going to now press F. That finalizes it, and that's the tank tracks. If we get close up at these actual tank tracks themselves, that's what they look like, and as you expect from an actual tank track, Let's just go all the way around our wheels, come back into first person view, selecting it once again, pressing F, removing them. You now select all of these, including the ones at the back there, press F to finalize, and it'll simply clip through all the blocks there. So as you can see there, it's coming through these steel blocks right here, our little buttons and our batteries. It does not matter, it'll still fully animate, still work correctly, and we still drive this around as you'd expect. But what we can't do is put these around corners. So let's remove these ones again and say select up these wheels right here, then come around to the opposite side, so past the cockpit, over here, select up these wheels as well, this is not going to work, so pressing F, we're going to get an error message, because we need to be on a straight line. This will also happen if you have a wheel that is slightly out of place, so if I have a wheel, say just sitting on the end right here, if I can do it right now, it's finally just a plain old wheel, there we go, slapping that on the side, now going back into the tool, and now press F, select up these wheels, press F again, and nothing's going to happen. They have to be in an exact straight line in order for this to work. So you can't make very wonky shapes. You can't make it go around corners. But what we can do with these is create really odd angles if the wheels are, say, in strange places. So turning around to this very big vehicle, this very big green vehicle, as you can see, you've got a wheel up top. This is simply a spare wheel, just gets one gets damaged on your adventure. And you simply grind that up, repair up your wheel, and away you go without diving into your cargo containers. But with this mod, we select this, Come up to this wheel, select that, select that, select that, and then select that, press F, and there we go. We now have a bloody big tank track going all the way around this. We also deselect that, come all the way up to the cockpit. It will still fully function as we were to drive this thing around. So angling the camera, undoing the park brake, moving forwards, and there we go. It simply works all fine and dandy. Anyway, putting park and brake on once again, hopping out of this because this vehicle is great for this demonstration. Hopping all the way down, come back into this, pressing F, removing those wheels, and then selecting our front one, say selecting this top one right here, there we go, and then pressing F, 
There we go, we now have that. It clips through the wheels, so if you are a bit funny about stuff clipping through other blocks or clipping through textures, this might be a bit of a nightmare unless you were to reshuffle your vehicles around. Yes, with that, now coming back into the cockpit. And then undoing the park brake once I actually get into the cockpit. There we go. Moving forwards. And there we are. It's just a nice little thing to customise your vehicle. And it's just so easy to use. Popping out of this one. Now coming all the way down to a few more examples. So over to this big one in the background. Going back to what I was talking about with that other vehicle over there. About having the wheels slightly off angled. So selecting this one again. Selecting all the wheels. Press F. We've now got tank tracks all the way around this one. This one is not going to work because for whatever reason it does not like that wheel. So it doesn't have a couple of limitations on what you can do with it. But no, that's not what I'm meant to do with this demonstration. I want to remove them once again, select up a few of these wheels, and select up this big one at the back. Now pressing F, and you see we get our warning once again, saying we cannot do that. And you can't even angle it slightly, so pressing F once again, selecting this wheel, and then selecting the front wheel. So even a slight angle, that's not going to work. They have to be on a perfectly straight line. Yes, what else can we do? Ah oh, yes, this one right here. This is another perfect example. So pressing F on this. This is a simple hovercraft vehicle with wheels on its side, propelled around by some atmospheric thrusters, but all the wheels are on subgrids. So setting this wheel right here, setting this wheel right here, pressing F, nothing's going to happen because they need to be all on the same grid. So much like having the wheels poking out, this is another limitation that you do need to be aware of. And well, it's not too bad at the end of the day unless you are doing something fancy with rotors and hinges. Anyway, coming over to this small vehicle right here. So once again, pressing F, selecting those wheels. There we go, pressing F. We know what tank tracks on that. Round to the opposite side, doing the same thing. There we go, popping into the cockpit. And just deselecting that to make sure I'm not doing anything funny. And away we go. It's just a very funny little thing to have. And we do just function like a proper little tank. That's a little bit wonky because we are on the ice and this thing is bloody fast. So putting on the brakes once again, popping out of this. Coming over to another little demonstration, which would be this tiny little motorbike right here. This thing is a very funny thing, one of the first motorbikes I actually showcase on this channel, but driving around is as you expect from two-wheeled vehicle, very hard to actually control because it is all gyroscope controlled. Now putting on the parking brakes, coming all the way down, selecting the tank track builder, pressing F, selecting both our wheels, F again, and there we are. We have the world's smallest tank track, but we can now undo the parking brake and drive this thing around once again. It's all fully animated. That is a funny little thing to play around with. Anyway, just getting out of that lane and do its own little thing. Flying all the way over to here once again. What other vehicles can I showcase? I suppose it would be this one right here once again. Yes, we can partly corrupt the wheels. So with this, once again, pressing F. Now going to do the back. There we go. Round to the opposite side. Say I want to, well, we actually keep it like that because that's also perfect. So we have them a bit topsy-turvy. Driving around. And there we are. It will be a little bit funny to drive around because it's going to be part tank, part wheel driven. Coming to a stop once again. Hopping out of this. Select that once again, pressing F, deleting them. There we are, we now delete it on this side, selecting them all once again. Round to the opposite side, pressing R, removing this side. So selecting that one and that one, finalizing. And back into the cockpit, driving around. And there we are, so one of our wheels is going to be functioning correctly, the other two can be like tanks. And that's gonna, not going to end well for this vehicle. Can I save this one? No, I cannot. We're simply going to slide around. And there we are with that. So yes, we now just go into this. Press R to remove them. There we go. Now they're back to their normal wheel state. But yes, that is all this mod does. It's just a bloody interesting mod, a bloody useful mod. If you do want to make your own custom tanks, or even just have a vehicle that has tank tracks at the back, like a snowmobile or any other vehicle that you're planning to put on the ice. You just come up to your vehicle, press F, select your wheels, press F again, and now it's all done and ready to go. Yes, like I said, that's pretty much it for this video and all this thing has to offer. It's just a very useful thing to have in your world, and I'd highly recommend downloading it, check it out yourself, because it's a lot of fun, and extremely impressive of how it just works straight out of the box like it is. No fiddling around with modular stuff, no unanimated blocks that you just slap on there, and the wheels just function as they would normally do, with static tank tracks, like the super original tank track mod used to have. This one just all works, all great, and as you expect. Yes, there'll be a link to the description below to just download and play around yourself. Highly recommend you do, because it is a fantastic mod like I said. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.